Hello everyone, this is The Good Captain. Welcome to another video in my Let's Play campaign series. This is the Rising Sun and uh, a mission or a linked campaign game titled Fall of the Philippines Mission Number 9. Titled is, the title of this is Bataan or Bataan. Uh, it's now 7 January 1942 and I'll read the historical and then we'll get to the actual mission. I have good news, Commander. That coward MacArthur has declared Manila an open city. So, our victory at Playardel has handed us the Philippine capital and cut Luzon in half. Once again, you have fought with honor. Your battalion is the model for the division. You are to be commended. However, it seems that not all the Americans have given up. Their second corps has established a defensive line across the Bataan Peninsula to the west. Apparently they mean to continue the fight. Now that we have had some rest and replacements, we are to continue to lead the advance. I have placed your battalion on the coastal road. You are to drive south through the towns of Sama and Mabatong. Our intelligence has discovered that the Americans are constructing another line further south, so speed is of the essence. Move out at once. So I've actually read enough of that Osprey book now to understand that uh, it took basically uh, from the, the the main invasion occurred on the, I think it was the 22nd the day of our first mission was the, the main invasion in the Lingayen Gulf but it took this long to sort of for the Japanese to secure the capital and realize that the Americans and the Philippine army units had decided to hole up in Bataan and fight it out on a peninsula for as long as possible. And this is sort of the first mission in knocking that defensive line. And historically speaking, this is right on track. So despite our continuous major victories, it hasn't changed history at all. If anyone was wondering, does this... Uh, game allow you to, you know, change history in terms of the linked campaign games. At least not, it doesn't appear to be so in this one, but this is the ninth mission, and most of the fighting, like the longest chunks of fighting, occurred just grinding it out on the Bataan Peninsula with the Japanese army. Uh, the first month, I guess, I think units held out until early to mid-May on Corregidor Island. Haven't got that far into the book yet, but I know it was May when they finally fell apart. So there's months left of fighting. So I'm a little curious to see which direction this goes. If this is a 10-mission campaign, it, next mission would be the last one. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. At any rate, this one's a big one. This scenario is huge. Sorry, that's pretty far out. Here's the 2D. We see some roadblocks, one minefield, five improved positions, and we can see in a native irregular platoon here. And this is obviously, this is the coastal road down here on the beach that they were talking about, and then there's some high ground up here in the hills. We have a loner battalion positioned up here. So this is actually four companies with supporting infantry guns. Uh, we're not going to really be able to abuse them too much or use them to protect our own troops in that they're, they're situated such that it's really just ideal for them to drive straight ahead, as it is, in my estimation, our unit as well, just to drive straight ahead. And so that's what we're basically going to do. Uh, I'm going to push two companies down this road. The, um, one of my own companies will lead, of course, and then I'll have this engineer company that's on loan to us. Uh, be the second in line. Uh, and then two companies will kick out to the dry rice paddies here. So this one here will drive straight ahead and I'll link one off the hook one off the road here. So it'll be a three company advance followed by closely by the engineers along the road and they'll have one company basically in reserve slowly trailing everyone else. And of course we've got the Hagos mixed in. Uh, we do have um, another, you know, basically a company of Hagos coming 
uh, that aren't ours so we can abuse them. Um, we have 20 turns. It doesn't look like we have to race or anything. There are four objectives all along the beach road. So uh, the first one's in Lalawigan and then Sama. And then Calic. I actually don't know how to pronounce that one. Calis. Calicaman. And then Mabatong. So, uh, what's victory? 600 points, but the objectives only cover 350, and assuming we do about 100 to 150 worth of damage to the enemy, then we're going to have to exit approximately 100 to 150 to ensure the victory. So we will need to exit. So I've already counted back the, the hexes. It's about 20, uh, 20 or so hexes. And um, I, I don't, unless there's units hidden in this village, which is a high probability, I, I have a plan to kind of find out very early on and very quickly if that is the case. Uh, it looks like we've got a lot of open ground here, so we should be able to push forward. Uh, there's, there's no concealment value in these rice patties. It's a zero. There's a little bit of concealment value in these orchards. But not much. Palm trees also have a concealment value of zero. We're more apt to be ambushed um, in village hexes and in dense jungle hexes, where the dense jungle is negative four, which is huge, um, and the village is negative three, which is also significant. Okay. Uh, lastly, we have artillery. This is what I love. Uh, this is my favorite thing. Look at that. Three batteries. Uh, so we're always going to have, we're basically almost always going to have artillery on call. We have six smokes. I wish we had something like seven or eight, but six, we can work with six. At least we can actually use the ones they gave us. And I actually intend to use, because, because there's fortified positions here and definitely here where there's dug in entrenchments, we're going to use some smokes on this uh, approach after we uh, get through Caparanga we'll, we'll start using some smokes to conceal our movement up the through this open ground area basically uh, so yeah uh, we're, let's jump right into it and the first thing I want to do is I, I am a little bit worried That's, that somebody could be right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my non-headquarters Hago with a morale of six thanks to replacements. That's one bad thing about replacing st strength points is the morale is a little low for the first few turns in the next scenario, but okay. Uh, and we'll utilize the road bonus and go here. Without breaking it, we'll also go here, here. And this is where I'm going to take a little bit of a risk, uh, but it's better this than, you know, delaying, God forbid, delaying a turn oh, or moving troops two hexes away. So this is really the best option. Okay, uh, doesn't appear anybody's in this first hex. Let's check the second one. Very cool. Okay. And let's just move here. Yeah. So, just to get out in front of the troops and so we uh, don't waste any of the road bonus, I'm just going to have all the hoggos. Um, basically move as far as they can and still shoot. So, yeah. come back to these guys. We might come back to these guys at the end, but the main thing for th that I wanted them to do was clear the road. And they did. Okay. Uh, and then this company is going to be... Actually, is this what I wanted to do first? Yeah. Double time.
Yeah, we'll move here. And I'm looking at this, I'm st still kind of looking at them suspiciously of these orchard hexes, but I don't think there's anybody there. I feel like we would have seen them, or 4, 3, 2, 1, if there was a light machine gun, they definitely would have, sh well, not definitely, but might have shot at us. Okay. And then, yeah, we'll sort of follow along, but not along the road. Everybody's going to kind of shore up. Yeah, I like that. Okay, now this company. Four, three, two, one. I will basically move to crossing points. Um, yeah, you'll double time. Let's go here. Nothing. And you'll go four, three, two. Here. Let's, let's send you here and here. Just gotta never know. So try to if there's a light machine gun, I guess I'm sort of baiting the shot. I don't think there is, so I'm kinda acting like there's not, but I'm still moving. Cautiously. I, uh, okay, let's move him last. Uh, yeah, definitely you'll go here. Still no shots. Let's move you here. Okay, now we'll move you here. And now I'm almost positive. Yeah, okay. Doesn't look like anyone's there. And we're set up to cross the stream now. Okay. Okay. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so we won't break the road movement if we double time. Actually, let's get our lead company. The, the company that's going to take lead on the road is this one, so let's get them as far ahead on the road as we can get. And of course, the good thing about the first turn on every scenario you play, this is the only turn in which you know at the beginning of your turn two, there will be no artillery and no air raids. So we can kind of abuse that a little bit. Okay. Now we'll finish moving our engineers. A little bit boring these first few turns, uh, especially on a bigger map like this, with where it takes time to move towards the enemy. But it's very important. Uh, the better, the more you utilize these road, road the road networks or roads or paths or whatever. Um, you know, the the more time you have on the objectives. So. First, the first few turns in every scenario, I think, are the most crucial. That you need to really try to not make very many, if at all, error. Uh, make many errors, if at all. Um, so, okay. Let's just get them, get them onto the road. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be pretty. Yeah, it really doesn't have to be pretty. Just get out of the road. This is the reserve company I'm designating as a reserve. This is the machine gun section that needs to be paired with the commander. Uh, and so you'll stay there. And oh uh, yeah, I decided I wanted to, if this was clear, and it looks like it is, it looks like we're, I, I want to move this guy, my headquarters this village hex here because it's outside the range of this fortification although this native irregular can spot him uh, it looks like he'll, he'll probably get knocked out in the first few turns so or at least removed from that position so let's get there 
it's a safe place with some cover so and it's more forward than where we are okay so that takes care of all our units on this flank uh, these are anti-tank guns yeah anti-tank anti tank and they'll definitely just hang back until we have need for them <coughs> actually I don't think I checked there who can see them okay yeah they're pretty yeah they're safe Okay, and then this battalion, uh, I don't, the fact there's a native irregular and that they're right here, I'm not thinking there's like a main line of resistance here, but there could be some native irregulars, and I've decided since this is, uh, not, these aren't my units, so I'm going to be a little risky. Push them up. Okay, looks like we're good. Let's try it again. Very good. Bring up the leader. Yeah. Okay, you will not double time. And... Uh, I don't trust that we'll... Anywhere. Okay, so three more companies, three more companies. Okay, uh, I think we just want to get you guys into a crossing position. Yeah, let's stack heavy. <laughs> the entire, yep can fit the entire company into one X, and we will not stay grouped up like this in next turn, but again, we are going to take full advantage of the fact that there will be no air or arty at the start of our next turn. Ah, thought it might. Guess it did. Okay. Wow, we still have more... Same. We will go here, as will you. Drop down. All right, almost done with the first turn. I know it's not riveting, but again, very important not to screw this up. Just stack super heavy here. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, cycle through. No, no. Okay. Alright. And uh, now, very important, do we want any air raids? No, all we can see is the native irregulars. Ah, yes, we have to remember the Hagos as well. Uh, I think if we take off the save action points for firing button. Yeah. We don't, yeah I don't think we need to. Okay, so we're going to go here and here. 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 Oh, you can't make it. I just didn't want to move. Yeah, you never know. There might be somebody. Uh, actually, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I just didn't want to move there for some reason. I guess I could have made it, but. Uh, but anyway, from, from this position, I don't think the enemy can assault us because it's a rice paddy, plus they have to cross the stream, and it's another rice paddy. And then along the road, they're going to be nailed by their own roadblock. And next turn, we should be able to move four, right? Yeah, four spaces. One, two, three, four. Okay. Four, three, two, one. So we'd be out of the range of a machine gun from this position. 
but from this position, you can see the whole length of that road. And so I was thinking of putting a smoke one, two, three, four, right here, right on the south side of this bridge. Blocked. I think that's blocked. It should be out of range. Four, three, two, one. Yeah. So we were going to put a smoke shell just to, uh, just out of, for safety purposes, basically, until we can get close and so they don't gum up our advance because uh, we need to utilize this road at least for one more turn because uh, there's certainly no enemies up here. We don't want to get interdicted by rifle fire or machine gun fire, so we'll smoke. Or just smoke it here. And they would see out to here. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, we don't want to risk it, so here. Okay, now, uh, regular artillery fire. I uh, definitely want to put one here, one here, three left. We'll go. One here, then one here. And we'll just hit this. I think this is going to be an important hex, so we better start softening it up early. And that takes care of it. We did smoke, we did arty, we checked our units, we double checked for air raids, and that's, that's the checklist. So I'm liking this scenario. I, I can tell this is my... This is my style of scenario. Very straightforward, very we got Artie, we got air, we got everything. So give the enemy its turn. Oh, we see another minefield here. Oh, we see a machine gun. Oh, we see a lot oh they just gave us our turn. It's turn two. So we got two what are likely light machine guns. Let me double check to see what these are, and I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, they're both light machine guns, so... Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, they're not going to be a threat to us this turn. Uh, so far, doesn't look like anything's in the village of Lala Wigan. Uh, but anyway, let's... Uh, let me just see what that smoke did. Okay, so we can still get seen here. Four, three, two, one. But if only a heavy could reach us at that range. So let's lead it off with our most. Four, three, two, one. I don't think we can get. Yeah. Yep, just two spaces. Hmm. Not that there would be anybody in there, but just to be certain, we're going to send our cr across our non-headquarters platoon of Hoggos to go recon by fire. Yeah, okay, all right. Okay, so now I will move you here, here. Uh, now we do have to start <coughs> acting a little more arty, smart. Uh, let's move this out of the way. Okay, and now I want to move you up the road. One, two, three, four. And then do we double stack? I'm going to come back to this side. I'm a little, I don't feel very confident. Okay, I'll lead off with the right, or the ATR platoon. Yeah, just cross. Very nice. Go 
One. 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 This is just just being safe. Just being safe while we move. Okay. Okay, uh, ah, look at this. In fact, let me just pull up the 2D map. It's the, kind of the fastest way we can... Yeah, we got the machine guns here. Okay, entrenchments, or trenches. A couple of improved positions and... Uh, some... Native Irregulars. Okay. Uh, this entire company is stacked up here. Let's move you guys first. Hmm. Yeah, let's... Let me check the elevation. Yeah, that's up. Okay, so we want to stay. I don't think you can see it on your screen, but yeah, we'll have more mobility next turn if we go here. So we'll double stack that hex. We'll trail. Same as you. Yeah, let's move here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be spotted all the way up. So we got to be a little bit already smart. Lead off with the ATR. Send up two companies. So we have nine SP in this hex. And we'll throw the leader in. You two will just cross, however. here. Up. Move up. Okay. Very good. Okay, let's stay with these inf guns. Our CO of this company. All right, so the, that's it for the loner battalion. Uh, now back to this problem. Well, we definitely want to put the headquarters platoon here and check his command range. Yeah, we'll definitely camp here for a turn, or maybe two. Next, starting next turn. Uh, you'll definitely move here. You'll definitely move here. Who are you with? Yeah, we'll definitely move here. It's really just a matter of what do I want to do with this platoon here, this headquarters platoon, because it's a question of do we want to double stack or not. Okay. Yeah, and the rest of this stuff doesn't really matter at this point in time, so yeah, what do we want to do with you? I think we want to risk getting in their face. So we'll send them all the way to the front. <clears throat> okay, and the backup company will just sort of stay with the inf guns here. See you with this machine gun sections. Leave those horses where they are, the wagons I should say. Okay, let's cycle. Ah, yes, the Hagos. 
I am going to place, I think this hex here is safest. And at this point, I'm more afraid of artillery than being overrun, so we'll spread them out a little bit here. Yeah, we'll go here though. Uh, I don't see anybody. Yeah, that's a safe place. Let's put you guys like this though. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's cycle. Oh, we almost forgot the rest of this company. Yep, so we got a smoke here. So yeah, we'll just push up, push up. Machine gun. Kind of want him ready for action. Yeah, we'll double stack the hex. Okay. That's it. They've all been considered uh, air raids, and this is a this is almost a definite yes. I think um, I want air raids on the machine guns. This is a lot of open ground with only really one channel of approach. They're fortified and dug in and in a good fighting position with supports. So yes, we're gonna burn. Oh, we got plenty. We got eight air raids, and we have two perfectly legitimate targets right in front of us. So one, two. Yeah. And we will definitely want to blind this guy. So we will drop a smoke. Yeah, right here. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, we definitely... Definitely want to smoke here. That is an excellent use of a smoke. We got three fire missions. I'll put one on the objective hex, uh, but the other two are going to hit the machine guns. That's all I'm willing to risk. Okay. All right. So we did our air raids, we did smoke, and we did fire support missions. So really loving this scenario. Really exercising the different mechanics in the game. It's just sort of an introductory levels uh, linked campaign game, though. Um, it's pretty simple, but it, I mean, that's, there's a, I feel like this is how Rising Sun is. They're, most of them are pretty, the link campaign games are pretty, pretty easy. So if you're kind of new I would start with Rising Sun. Uh, it's I don't know, maybe I can explain it better when we play some linked campaign games. But the East Front and the West Front can't link campaign games with their t with like especially the later war scenarios with their tanks. They're just everything is the, the firepower goes way up. The mo mobility goes way up. The fire support effectiveness. Everything is way more like lethal, I don't know how else to say it. So it's, we, we, here we're taking some, we're being fairly liberal with some of these movements, but this is the Imperial Japanese Army at its finest, fighting a very demoral, not demoralized, but not well, not the best, not the first line of US troops. So it kind of goes without saying this is sort of an introductory scenario, but anyway, all right, I'm chatting too much. So uh, we will give the enemy its turn and do one more turn, and then close this video. Okay, we have a... Huh. Uh, that rifle team came out. Okay, and there were some units. <laughs> What's this? Okay. Uh, it's also noticeable there was no air or artillery from the enemy. Okay. Excellent. Ha <laughs> ha Awesome. Alright, so that, they moved from uh, this bottom village hex at, at Lala Wagon. Wigan. Lala Wigan. 
and then moved back here. This guy moved out, uh, but so we still need to scout out these hexes. Hmm. That was a commander too, and he retreated away with everybody. So, oh yeah, I just realized disappointingly that our air raids failed to arrive, and the artillery yeah didn't do anything to these machine guns. Okay, I'll come back to this. I'll let my brain percolate on it while I just exercise these guys on the right flank. Uh, so let's start with this ATR platoon. Can I get him? Yeah, so he will move up here and bait some shots. And he's immediately disrupted. <laughs> Things are so weak. All right, next uh, we're gonna be seen, so we'll probably get shot. Yep. And these guys have a two firepower at range two, so they're actually harder to bait, even though they're less effective in general than the Philippine army platoons. Or there's a higher risk to baiting them. Uh, so we'll move here move here, and we'll shoot. Excellent. So one of these can still move. And since we weren't shot at, it's probably safe to assume that there's no one here. We'll move here as well. Check the time. Yeah, this will be the last turn. Uh, let's see what double timing does. Yeah, it gives us one more hex. So we'll take you guys will all move here. Hmm. Well, we can't let this irregular platoon or pair of irregular platoons slow us down, so we're just gonna eat whatever shots they throw at us. Here we go. Very good. I really don't want to I, I don't I don't know no artillery fell but that doesn't mean they don't have it but I do want to get to a crossing position let me flip the map yep just wanted to check and make sure so we will move these units to this position here in order to cross stream next turn. As will you. And yeah, you'll cross. Cross. Let's double time and move here. Time here. Up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's the loner battalion. <coughs> And here, uh, let's lead off with our ATR, our fearless ATR platoon. Yeah, they'll move here, here, and here. Okay, we got shot. Double time. Ooh, there's a crossing point. Let's take that. And I'll stack. Oh, he can make it too. Do we dare? No, we're not going to do that. Yeah, we just want to cross and then fan back out onto this side and prepare to assault these uh, trenches and entrenched location. 
Okay, now uh, to the fun part of turn three. We need to try to... I don't think we're going to take Lalawigan this turn, but we need to make sure it gets set up. We need to set up so it falls next turn. So there's no machine gun here. There could be one here. Hmm. Yeah. So we'll move our least mission essential unit here and here. Okay, nothing. Can we cross? We sure can. Four, three, two, one. And we're not in range of machine guns. Yeah, so we're going to move here. So if there was rifle platoon, he could have shot as a bait shot here. And here. Still nothing. Okay. You'll move here. Hmm. Okay, I guess nobody's there. Now bubble stack. Just want to keep the machine guns close for fire support. Okay, uh, that didn't draw anything out, but just to be sure, we're going to send a Hago here and here. Wow. Okay, uh, so yeah, we will cross, yeah. where's the engineers, we definitely want them in this hex, so we can move that obstacle next turn. So we'll need to unjam this. Yeah, we'll move you guys here. You'll come here for now, and you'll come here for now, and that lets the infantry gun. Who will be? We don't want to fatigue if any. Oh, well, the smoke is messing with that. This appears to be a good hex. So we move one, two. Here, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So on the three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Well, we'll just be outside of range of him, but we should be able to shoot him. Okay, we will opt not to double time so that we can crack off a decent shot next turn. We'll move here. Guys will move up. And the Hagos. The Hagos. Well, it's more it's it's very likely that though they weren't disrupted when they left. But when they come back, they're probably gonna shoot. And we are at two hex range here. So it might be actually better if they shoot the Hagos. As much as much as I would love to shoot this headquarters, I think it's wiser if we group these up together so they can't be overrun so easily. And then go through them one at a time and cycle their fire uh, opportunity fire to the short range. So they should only shoot adjacent. 
I'm expecting somebody to move into this village where we'll shoot them and then hopefully absorb their fire without effect and not let our troops get hit. That's the theory anyway, so we'll cycle through now. Looks good. And uh, smoke. This is a hard... If we put one more smoke down, that will be halfway. We can see, yeah, we can see them. We got them locked. Okay. I'm going to say one more turn of smoke because of this machine gun. Yeah, this is... Yeah, we need to re-smoke this hex because we need to destroy these two rifle platoons and leader, capture this village, remove this uh, roadblock and stage, and all of that's gonna it's gonna take time and we need cover and we don't have a effective way of knocking this guy out unless we just plaster him with artillery. The air raids aren't helping out yet, so yeah, let's not risk it. Smoke. Drop one on the objective hex. Actually, we'll put two on the objective hex, two on this machine gun, and one on this machine gun. Yeah, because our guys in the field are going to start needing some support too. So, But this is the priority, the coastal road. These guys can just hang out for all I care. They, Coastal road needs to be where all the movement and the action take place. So everything else is a sideshow. Air raids, we already called them. I don't really want to call anymore at this moment. So we'll give the enemy its turn and see what's what. Ah, do we have a battery? Man of mortar. Let's go oh, right behind that. Yeah, it's got to be a Stokes mortar. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's probably a Stokes. Mortar. Okay. Come on. I've heard to shoot those guys. Okay. Yep, they came back. Okay, well done. Shoot that guy. Hey, well done. Well done. Alright, that worked really well. Perhaps too well, now those shells won't fall on it. Okay. Come on, air raids. Let's see some air raids. Yeah, too many targets. Okay, good hit. Yeah. Ah. Artillery had no effect. The air raid missed his target, although he did some damage. And, uh,. We sent the enemy running into the flooded rice paddies, so yeah, we're gonna blast them this turn. And uh, yeah, good thing to smoke that hex because we didn't get him. Yeah, so we're not gonna call air raids in on this line of defense until we break them up a little bit. Uh, but this one still has a good chance of landing on target. And uh, yeah, let's check the time. Yeah, 48 minutes, perfect. So yeah, it might have been a little boring, but I think this is going to be a really active scenario from this point on. And we're one-fifth uh, the way finished on time, but thanks to our use of the road and everything, uh, I think we really closed up tight on the objective. So, so far, so good. Thank you for watching this. All the best from the good captain, and bye-bye.